Here you will observe that my molar flow is the unit of measurement is normal cubic meter per hour gas, but that is not the standard condition for the Aspen High Seas. If I click in unit set, I will return the molar flow as by the standard of the Aspen High Seas. That is kilomol per hour if I use the SI or similar units of measurement. So the kilomol per hour, it's not a use, usually used unit of measurement in the chemical process engineering and plant design projects because we don't sell products as kilomol per hour or we don't measure products as kilomol per hour. Most often you find molar flow as kilo, kilomol per hour or mol per hour when you have test books uh, showing with you or sharing with you examples on how to perform chemical process, process engineering calculations or eventually if you work with lab or chemical reactions eventually you will use the information as kilomol kilogram mol per hour as inputs to your process simulation. In real life, most often we use the mass flow or its vari variation as stone or the molar flow but not as kilogram mol per hour but as normal cubic meter per hour or standard cubic meter per hour when we are talking about gases. So if I go to unit set I can change the unit of measurement of my, my molar flow and here I have a list of options for my process simulation. So I have kilogram mol per time, I have cubic meter per time, I have normal cubic meter per time and we will see the differences between the cubic meter per, per time and also normal cubic meter per time. For a while I will let the kilogram mol per hour as the unit of measurement for this process simulation.